Well, joining me now in the daytime Buffalo studio is blues guitarist extraordinaire Taj Farhan. Hi, Taj. Thanks for coming. Hello. Thank you for having me. Okay. Well, well. First off, let's address the obvious. You have a little bit of an accent there. Yeah, I am from, from Australia. Okay. Very cool. Now you are going on tour. Is that correct? Or yeah, you're on tour right I'm now? I'm on tour at the moment. Nice. Tell me about. Um, Ironworks, uh, that's that's where you're doing your show, correct? Tomorrow yeah, night? Yeah, so just tomorrow night that I'm playing there. Tell me about how you got your start. Um, so my dad took me to an ACDC concert when I was uh, seven, and I got a guitar for my um, seventh birthday, and I was like, oh, I want to do this. And I started taking lessons, and I um, got pretty good, so here I am now. Can you read music, too? No, actually, I can't read music. I can read tabs kind of but it's more just playing by ear yeah that is incredible Thank now you. how is that that you're able to play at this level with the natural ability that you have with just your ear tone right um it's i don't know it's like uh it's like walking it just kind of happens <laughs> You just you just woke up that talented, huh? Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> now, you've been on Ellen and many other shows. What's it like to experience so much publicity at such a young age? Um, it was pretty... It's normal it pretty, for you? Eh, no, it wasn't normal. It was pretty weird at the start. I was like, oh, why does these guys want to speak to me? But um, but now it's now it's gotten normal, so yeah. Who would you say are some of your biggest influences musically? Probably uh, Gary Moore and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah. yeah. How do you describe your sound? Um, it's more blues rock than it is anything else. Um, but I, I take a lot of stuff from like some metal songs and some like jazz and funk songs. So yeah. And you're pretty young, right? How old um, are you? I just turned 14 in May. You just turned 14, and you've already accumulated so much success. That must be super strange. <laughs> you're like a teenager, but like you're this huge, iconic person. Um, you've played with some big acts, guys. Yes. I'm gonna read some of the people that you've re you've played with: uh, Carlos Santana, Kiss, the guitar player for Michael Jackson and Alice Cooper. I mean, the list goes on. What is it like to play with some of your heroes? Um, that was that's probably the coolest part of what I do. I get to play with some of the people that I look up to. Um, but yeah, it was really it's really cool. And you've gotten some pretty big endorsements. What guitars are you currently playing with on tour? Um, so I play uh, multiple uh, brands. I play Taylors, Kiesels, and mostly Fenders and maybe a Gibson. So yeah. Tell me more about this tour. Obviously, you're here in Buffalo, but where else are you going? Um, we go to uh, Indiana. Um, I think we go to Texas later on throughout the year. Uh, we're doing Florida as well at one point. So, yeah. What would you say are some of your personal goals and aspirations for your music career? Um, well, my, my main goal is to be the biggest I can be um, and be the best I can be as well. Um, well, you're on your way. Well, thank you so much. You have a number one single on the charts right now. Tell yes. me about that. Um, so I released that not long ago. Um, I wasn't actually expecting it to go number one like that quick. I thought it was going to take at least a couple of weeks, um, but it debuted at, at number one, so that was cool. Now, you have a pretty good following on social media, obviously. Do you think social media has kind of helped get your name out there as far as your music? Uh, yeah, I reckon social, social media is 100% the main um, uh, cause of how I've become to be able to play um, at some of the venues that I play at, so yeah. So where were you before you came to Buffalo? Uh, we were in Ohio. Oh, nice. Yeah. And where are you going after Buffalo? After Buffalo is, um, I'm not sure. Okay. You're just going, you're just going and going. Yeah. Now, how is it for you being in the States so far away from home in Australia? Um, I mean, it's cool. I mean, I miss home a little bit, but I just miss more of our food than 
<laughs> the actual <laughs> country itself. Yeah, but yeah. you have your family here yeah, with you supporting. Yeah, I have my family here with me, so it's fine. Nice. Um, you're going to be performing a, swarm, a song for us coming up, right? Yes, What's I will. What's it called? It's called Crossroads. All righty, viewers, don't go anywhere. When we come back, Taj Farad will be playing for you.